Hey everybody, Olga Safari here to show you how to get interview ready makeup looks with our professional makeup artist, Denise. Let's go check it out. So I've just taken a little bit and put it on my hand. Um, I like to take it out and put it on my hand, even at home, I take it out and put it on my hand so that it has a little time to just kind of like tack up a little bit because when it's in the pot, it's like a little, uh, it's really malleable. So I, I like to have it just dry out just a teeny little bit. So I just take my brush and dip it in. And we're only gonna go right along the top lid. And we're not gonna do anything super dramatic, it's just a simple liner. We're not doing a cat eye, it's not really appropriate for a job interview. We're just gonna do something simple, just lines the top of your eye just to give you some definition. And again, we're trying to do a relatively thin line just to keep your eye nice and open. Okay, close for me. Um, Everybody has a different technique. Some people start in the middle, some people start at the side. Uh, when I'm working on other people, I usually kind of start kind of in the middle. Um, but when I'm working on myself, I start at the outer corner and work my way in. That just seems to work better for me. Close for me. So when, when you're applying gel liner, it's important to remember little strokes are okay and then you just kind of connect the dots later. All right, so at the end of this, what basically we just have a nice liner. It's basically just framing your eyes. It's a, it's a little thicker, um, so that it just gives a little bit of, of depth for your eye. You've got these really beautiful deep set eyes, so it actually works with you really nicely. Oh, thank you. So when, when you do your lashes, um, I usually start by having just looking straight ahead and doing the underside of your lashes first and just working your way up and then I'll go to and, and do the little end pieces next. And then once you're kind of towards the end, then you're gonna to wanna to do just the top of your lashes. Don't forget to do the top of your lashes. That's really important. Um, the little wiggle, uh, I'll show you how we, how we do that. A little bit of wiggle actually gets it down a little bit closer to the base, because that's the other thing is you wanna do from the, tip, from the base all the way to the tips, okay? So if you just look right here at my shoulder, and then I'm gonna have you blink down into it. There we go. So you can see I'm doing the underside first, and I just kind of start in the middle and work my way out, and then I'm gonna back in towards the center of the eye. And again, the wiggle the is wiggle. what gets you towards the base of the lash. Super important. The and wiggle we, is key. The wiggle is key. The wiggle is your friend. And then what's important is, like I said, you get to get the ends of the lashes. So you can just use the end of your brush. I'm just gonna get a little bit extra. You use the end of the brush to just kind of pull them up a little bit. Again with the wiggle. The blink and the wiggle. The blink and the wiggle. And you can do this on yourself too. You can just blink right into it yeah. for those who have issues doing their mascara. And if you just close for me, and then I'm just going to go like right along the top and get right in. Then just kind of fluff them right back up. Open for me. And I usually don't do the under lashes unless you really don't have any lashes underneath there. But for an evening look, yes, do the under lashes. But for a daytime look, let your eyeliner, let that nice soft liner just speak for itself. So that was our interview ready look with Denise. Remember, keep it natural.